were in a CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a, a penalty shootout defeat to Southampton Town in the Senior Cup. Adam, your thoughts following that? No, obviously, um, you know, it matches the, the the fans, and we were bitterly disappointed tonight. Um, you know, we didn't deal with the, the long throw that came into the box. Um, and if you're a defender in non-league football, you've got to be able to deal with with that better. Uh, and we haven't done it at all well. Um, bit of a dubious penalty, I think. Um, but you know, it's full credit to, to Mitch and George. They've set up with ten players behind the ball and made it hard for us. Um, when we've got the ball into wide areas, we just haven't been good enough on the night. Yeah, it looked like we were struggling to break them down. They were really compact defensively. What do you think that was? Is that is that the challenge of going up against that sort of defensive side? Yeah, we've come up against it a few times this year and, and struggled maybe to, to, to break that down. Um, you know, we obviously lack a bit of physical presence throughout the side, and you know they've put their left back up front to, to you know. Um, play on that so you know, he will give them credit for how they've set up um, and yeah like I'm just disappointed with the, the quality that we show um, you know we've got to be demanding more from ourselves uh, than that and you know we just just fell short again on the night and you know it's the lottery of penalties and you know just not enough conviction again in, in what we're doing um, Throne was quite similar um, you know it's those three games there from the one on Saturday and the one tonight we've been below par and you know we've not lo lost the game as such we, we drew it in 90 minutes but you know we've, we've got a, we can't be happy with that we've got to be showing more um, but uh, I'd like to say full credit to the Wampton and um, you know I wish them all the best in the next round. Yeah absolutely it's and I suppose for us we've had it quite lucky in this competition in recent years having the achievements we've had in the last two years maybe it's time to let someone else have a go. No, yeah, obviously disappointed with that. Obviously, um, you know, what performance it was to get here by beating Crawley. You know, it was an unbelievable performance, and then you perform like that tonight. So, yeah, it just shows like that the levels really. We've got to keep that consistency and been banging on about it for a while now. Um, being consistent, and we haven't got enough players that are consistent enough. Um, seven, eights out of tens, and do it on a regular basis and something we've got to look at. Yeah, you can tell that the squad is is a little bit thin at the moment. It, where do you think you're at with that, with anyone coming in or is do you think it's just all... Yeah, we've got, we got Jake Robinson, Nicky Wheeler, Glenn Ray hoping to be back in two weeks. Um, you know, it's where we are, like, big players um, for us. You know, I'm not going to put any excuses down to that. Like we probably needed to rest Joel and Dolly tonight, and you know we can't can't be blaming them. Um, you know they've they've been superb servants for us since like as has got injured and Joel stepped in to play centre back. Um, he was immense on Saturday. He's getting through a lot of work. Um, we've got to look at these lads' loads as well. Um, so yeah, we, we need to get get some players back. We need players to perform better and more consistent um, and yeah we just haven't got that at the moment.